Visioning has to be distinguished from the vision for one very important reason. Research shows that something like 30 to 35 percent of the world's corporations have a top team that is distinctly divided. And one of the reasons for that is simply today's complexity of market. Uh, many organizations don't just uh, focus on one product, nor do they remain in one country. So what may be strategy in one place may not be strategy in another. So the process of envisioning a future is the most critical concern that any senior manager has to consider. And in so doing, what is brought to the surface is history, the emotions of the past, the tensions that that team has had to go through, the personality crises that they've had to face. So visioning is about bringing together what people really feel, what they want to do and how they want to do it. Now one of the key aspects of visioning is to be a tough guy, a resilient manager, someone who can talk the truth. And you may feel that that is such an easy thing to do. Not so. Our research shows that 65 to 66 percent of the world's corporations have senior managers who are skilled, accomplished, clever people who have achieved a great deal, who when the difficult moment arises or when the sensitive issue arises, find it um, difficult to raise that particular issue in the meeting where they're at, usually because of personality reasons. So how would you go about visioning a future and making that a strategic tool? The first thing you do is you talk about today. What are we facing today? What has to be overcome today? Where do we really stand as a group of senior managers? The interesting second thing to do is to no longer talk. One of the most interesting factors that senior managers have to face is where they stand on concerns such as strategy marketing, sales. Now these are standard terms and you would think that there would be very little debate on what marketing means, what sales means, what strategy means. Exactly the opposite. There is considerable debate. What would be the marketing strategy for BMW in Germany is very different to the marketing strategy for BMW in Africa or South America or the USA. So getting the managers together to bring to the surface their meanings about the key strategic uh, techniques of marketing and sales is critical to then forming a vision. A simple little exercise is to have people sit down and write down what they think they're doing, what value they're providing, what marketing means for them in their part of the business. So when you do that, gather those pieces of paper, read them out and see if that team really is a team in terms of business concepts. So we brought to the surface what we feel. We've brought to the surface what we're doing now. We've brought to the surface our different ideas. Now just thrash those out and make sure that the visioning process brings you together as colleagues, irrespective of what the final outcome really will be.